name is Fluffy the Destroyer and welcome to my channel. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about AI here because I need to get something off my chest. Especially because, well, I think computer computer game AI is... I'm sorry, but it's idiot. It's really stupid. Developers are doing a really bad job at it. Most of them, not all, just most of them. Notable examples that are not idiots. I would say fear. This one is good because the enemy AI in fear uh, uses the environment really well. If it sees a table, it's going to tip it off over so it can use cover. Uh, we can go with uh, Halo, for example. The uh, the leader, if it's get if it uh, gets killed, the uh, well the soldiers accompanying him will just flee, which makes a whole lot of sense, you know. Oh my God! Shut up. But, bad examples. This one here. It uses quantity over quality. Like many other games. It's gonna use, uh, like it's gonna rush me and that's all. And nothing else. I, how many skills do I have here? Let's, let's take a look here. I got many weapons, which you don't see right now, which is really stupid. But my skills. Look at the whole thing. This. Restoration. Katana. It's, uh, yeah, I'm gonna learn it. I need to do that. I got powers as well. I got loads of them. Uh, yeah. And that's about it. I, I got a, a lot of them here. It's, uh, but that's about it. And the enemies, what do they have? They rush me. And that's about it. They got a couple of skills, like one or two skills, but that's about it. They got nothing else. Enemies are predictable as hell. They only rush me as hell. They're not... They are dangerous because... They just keep coming at me and it's honestly it's uh it's really simple you just try to get away you try to avoid their shots and and that's about it <laughs> bosses man they're uh they're really predictable as hell way too predictable oop i'm so stuck here <laughs> Like the bosses in here, for example, they uh, what they do is uh, you gotta find their weak uh, their weak spot in their body. You shoot that, and you're gonna open up their vulner the, like their vulnerable spots, and you shoot their vulnerable spots. Rinse, repeat, you kill. That's it. It is fun at first, but after a certain time, it gets really repetitive, very fast, and it pisses me off. Because I can't imagine if someone would spend $60 for that. Could be $50, $100, hell, $10. I don't care for the money. Um, it's not worth the money. Because it's way too predictable. And developers don't seem to care about it. They really don't care about that. Why? Perhaps it's because the lack of time. I'm not really sure about that. Lack of resource, lack of intelligence. I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. God damn, they hurt. Oh, that hurts. Hmm, man. Same thing with uh, Tomb Raider, for example. Those monsters, they're... Uh, those monsters. Th those, uh, those enemies. They're idiots. They're really idiots. They... <laughs> the melee ones are just attacking you. They're rushing you like they're doing here without any intelligence they're not flanking me they're not trying to go behind me or something that like there's not even one behind the bridge or something nothing at all it's just let's rush the guy from the front and let's kill him by with a group I'm trying to shoot their legs and it doesn't work like how many enemies did I kill right now? 
Shouldn't they th tell themselves, like, okay, it doesn't work. Let's try to flank him or something, but no. Nothing at all. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's very simple instructions that they, uh... Whoa. It's very simple instructions that they receive. There's nothing else. All I have to do here is just run. What can be what can be done about this? Well, I'm not an expert here, but I don't know. More support for the AI would be a first uh, thing. Like, how about giving them a lot more skills, quality over quantity instead? Oh man, that that should hurt. Yeah, let me. Here we go. How about their balls? Bam! Oh, right in the balls. He's supposed to use a shield, but he's not covering his eyes. Well, his head. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. And a lot of games are like that as well. It's... Let's see here. Yeah, more efficiently. And that... Let's go with powers. No, with uh, skills. I should have skills here. Oh, that'll be good. Oh, no, okay. This and this. Oh, how about weapons? Let's, let's go with the weapons. Strategy games, same thing. They cheat. Uh, they give the enemy the location of where they're supposed to be. Uh, well, your location where they're supposed to be. I'm sorry, but no. That's bullshit. That shouldn't exist. It's, um... I'm disappointed in that. <laughs> Adventure games. Those are the worst. As soon as you've discovered their, um... I would say what? Their pattern? The bosses become super easy. Those are the most easiest enemies that I've known. Mostly because they have a... Like, for example, Final Fantasy. As soon as, as you discover the, the... Like the boss pattern. Oh my god. Oh, good. There you go. Whee! Yeah, so what can we do about this? Man, I don't know. I, I just want to hear your, uh, your thoughts on this one, because I'm not really sure. I could tell you, like, we should, uh... I don't know what to do in this one, really. Well, except for flying and fleeing away, I mean. No, what I mean is, I don't know what to do about this problem here. Because no matter what happens, no matter what game uh, comes out, Developers never listen. Wow. Yeah, they never listen. Anyways. What else to say about this one? Hmm. Yeah, like I said, just... Give more love to the AI, man. If it's not an AI that has simple instructions, a lot of them will bug, like... How many times did you see an ally that uh, that got stuck over a wall to a to a corner or wherever you know? Uh, if it's not that an enemy that that is so stupid and shitty that you find it so boring and you have to quit, that happens sometimes with me. The enemy is so stupid that I have to quit the game. I can't take it anymore. Some will take cover, but it's not enough. For example, um, XCOM, and uh, what do you, what, what's the other one? Uh, you, well, yeah, Tomb Raider to a certain extent. They're gonna try to take cover, but they'll fail. I mean, I, I like in, like in XCOM, for example. I can see their heads. I can still see their heads, uh, and I can still shoot them, headshot them. In in fact, two meter. It's the same thing. They try to take cover, but they do it so badly that I can still shoot them, headshot. 
Again, it's... <laughs> it's... It's really pathetic. Like a five-year-old could do this even... Well, not this year, but uh, like... Programming AI? <laughs> Man. A ten-year-old kid could do that. Even a better job. They could at least try to do that. Anyway, my name is Fluffy the Destroyer. If you don't like my video, just uh, click on subscribe, comment, ah, <laughs> rate, and comment. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot here. Hey, this is the far uh, furthest that I've got. Anyway, my name is Fluffy the Destroyer, and see you next time.